Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel again. It's been again so long that I haven't recorded a new video. Uh, to be honest, next week my students are going to just present their projects um, in my lesson. So I decided to record a video on um, PowerPoint presentation. Because in the past few years I've just realized that some students are not aware of the benefits and privileges of PowerPoints and how to use it in their presentations and projects. Yeah, I know that the concept of uh, my YouTube channel is about language learning, but it is also part of the language learning. When you present something in your English classes, uh, and if you present it perfectly, you will impress everybody, and at the same time, you can improve your English language. All right. In the first part of this video, I'm going to talk about some rules about PowerPoint and how you can use PowerPoint in your speaking. The materials, the tips that I'm going to share with you, I've taken them from Brian Tracy's book, Speak to Win. So if you have time, you can just go and read that book. It's an amazing book. All right. First part about PowerPoint in your presentations, and in your career, if you want to just present something and you want to use PowerPoint, pay attention to these tips. First of all, sometimes PowerPoints are considered as the death of your presentation or your speech. We say death by PowerPoint. Because when your PowerPoint is better than your speech or your presentation, it is a death of your presentation. So always you should be better and you should present your project much better than PowerPoint. Just PowerPoint is a tool. So you are the important element of your presentation. Okay, so if you are going to use PowerPoint, which can be ideal in certain situations, it is best to follow a few rules. I'm gonna share these rules with you. First rule is the five by five rule. It means in each slide of, of your PowerPoint, you should have maximum five lines and maximum five words in each line. Yes, of course you can adapt it. You can just uh, have more lines uh, or fewer lines, fewer words, but uh, it should be the standard of your uh, slides. Because when you have a lot of words, a lot of lines in your slide, it is distracting for your audience. And imagine that you are presenting your project, you're presenting your speech, and there are a lot of people in online situation, in online lessons, or probably in face-to-face -face situations, they will get bored. They will listen to you, but they will get bored. So keep it short, have many slides. That is absolutely fine to have 20, 50 slides, but in each slide have just some pieces of information. A little piece of information on each slide so you can attract your audience in your online presentation as I said in your face-to-face -face presentations it will be more engaging for your audience or for your friends in your presentations so don't put a lot of sentences a lot of details in one slide for example sometimes my students they write a summary in, a, in a one slide. And the summary, for example, you imagine 200, 300 words in one slide. So people won't listen to you. And uh, your teacher or your listeners uh, just would consider it as uh, average or below average presentation. So that's uh, about uh, five by five. Second one is uh, yourself your body language, your face, your face, your facial expression while you are presenting. Yeah, I know now because of the pandemic, <clears throat> um, we have our presentations online and uh, yeah, you can't use full your body language in your presentations. But again, try to use uh, your facial expressions. Just uh, put your camera on uh, and uh, use your hands, uh, your gestures, uh, your facial expression, they are absolutely important to have a great speech and also to have a great presentation. Don't miss it. Next thing that you have to pay attention is the lighting. 
yes, in face-to-face -face, um, presentations, it is important you can go to um, <clears throat> to the auditorium, you can check it in online sessions. Also, it's important to set your camera right, to look at your camera and the while speaking and also the room must be well lit so people just uh, can uh, interact with you in your presentations next one that you have to just bear in mind powerpoint is only a prop it's just a tool so you shouldn't just rely on powerpoint a lot sometimes my students they uh, just write everything on the powerpoint and uh, yeah as you know because of technical issues sometimes they can't just uh, use it so they say teacher sorry we our PowerPoint doesn't work so we can't just present it so don't rely fully on your PowerPoint just uh, make sure that you have plan B in your presentations for example have your PowerPoint just ex just uh, have it in PDF let's say or have some notes as I told you you are the important element of your presentation not your PowerPoint just it's a tool and also expect the unexpected because uh, in online presentations or in face-to-face -face presentations always there are a lot of unexpected situations so have your plan B for example imagine you are just presenting with three people in your project and one of them is sick so you should have a plan B you should be ready to also cover that part always be ready for all unexpected situations and uh, keep the attention on you and your message while you are just uh, using your powerpoint uh, start with a strong uh, just uh, message and then when you finish it also strongly finish your presentation with your message so people your audience uh, will know or will understand what your presentation would be about and what it was and uh, plan a smooth delivery in all parts of your PowerPoint in different slides you should know what you have to explain um, just as a general rule as uh, also my own experience when a person if you send your PowerPoint to another person and uh, without your presentation without uh, yourself it shouldn't be just very meaningful to that person what uh, let me just like, clarify it a bit better because in a presentation you are the main element so without you the PowerPoint shouldn't be complete and uh, if somebody reads your PowerPoint and understands everything so what's your purpose over there so in your PowerPoint should be completed with you so just uh, don't uh, sell yourself short because you are an important part of your presentation and preparation is the key planning is the key and um, <clears throat> another thing that uh, I wanted to share with you is the practice always practice before you present at least three to five times you should practice you should go over full presentation if you are in a group you should do it alone as I told you if something unexpected just happens so you can present it know everything about your presentation if somebody asks you about a word if somebody asks you about one part you should be able to just answer that question and the practice it pays off when you practice your your presentation will be stunning and uh, that's it just the general uh, some rules that you can use in your presentation it was the first part of uh, this video to give some information about PowerPoint and also how to use it. Right now, I'm gonna just show you also some tips that um, you can use to make stunning PowerPoint. But as I told you, PowerPoint should be your second priority. You yourself is a top priority and the most important element of your presentation. Don't forget it. Now, let's go over the PowerPoint. What I would do first, um, let me share also my screen with you. I would just go to Google and I will just search for, um, if I wanna just uh, prepare a PowerPoint presentation, I search for free templates. This is a website that I use, uh, free PowerPoint templates. 
and over here the category that you want to just uh, prepare your presentation imagine in by the way in all categories you can prepare you can use this video in all categories even business people can use this video okay now since i'm just uh, covering the part regarding my students i would go to education all right imagine that i have a project for uh, my english lesson english subject i would go to education part in education part we have some templates just look at them and choose one of them the one which is more relevant to your presentation for example i would go here and here i just look at these slides and i see yes it would just look great and when i look at it it's editable i can use them in, in my, my presentation and just i have to modify and i have to just uh, add some parts or delete some parts okay what i would do i would download it okay it would take just a few seconds to download a template from here you can use other websites as well as i told you just uh, it's um, <coughs> just you can use it in uh, all presentations in uh, all contexts all right let me just open it and uh, share it with you and tell you what i would personally do if i had a project and i had to just prepare for my project Let okay now this is the powerpoint that i downloaded over here just because of academic honesty because it's not my uh, powerpoint don't delete any links that uh, you take from a website so you have to just mention it you have to give the credit for example i wouldn't just delete the link however i would just i may delete some parts of it for example over here i would write for example the title the title of my presentation and then other slides that i have here i would just add them some details of my presentation i would delete some of some slides i would add some slides and so on over here also you have the icons if you want to use in your presentation to attract the attention of your audience definitely you can use them however i want to also share another tip with you okay this is a template but as i told you you are the key okay you are the key you should be much better than your powerpoint don't let powerpoint kill your presentation okay now here when i look at the, these slides let me just go over for example this is a very good slide to just provide uh, the outline of your presentation so you can just uh, um, modify them you can edit them about your presentation here also another good timeline that you can use for them different things when i look at this slide there is a lot of information here it's a lot it will be really distracting for your audience so i may delete some parts of this slide or probably this is a very again good one but uh, yeah, a lot of information is written. I wouldn't just include a slide like this with a lot of information. And um, as you see, you, according to your presentation, you can use some of them. But as I told you, just pay attention to five by five or just adapt it a bit. That is absolutely fine. If you write, for example, 40, 30, 30 words in one slide, but keep it short. Don't make it too long. It will be boring. And another tip that I want to share with you is using animation. Here, for example, that's fine. Now imagine I'm going to just present this slide. What I would do, I wouldn't just show it directly over there. If I, for example, imagine I just put it over there in, um, on my screen and my students wouldn't listen to me. They would just go over it, 2015, what happened, 16, 17 and so on. They wouldn't listen to me. They would read it. So they won't listen to me. I would just lose uh, the power that I have in my presentation. And they won't just, they may just miss what I'm saying. So what I would do in all my slides, let's say, in all my slides, I just provide information little by little. What I would do, for example, here I would select this part and uh, in a slide, I'm sorry, in animation, just a simple animation this one and then number two and again just simple again you're create you, you are 
I'm sure you are much more creative than me, so definitely you can just make it much better. Just I want to show you the basics of it. So then with your creativity, you can have stunning presentations in um, your projects and everything. Now, if I want to just talk about this topic, this slide, I would just show the title of it and then I would give a little bit of information. Then I would go to the first one, contents, get on blah, blah, blah. And then I explain a bit. So, so my audience and students are focusing on me and also present that they can follow me. They don't read other parts of it. Then I would go to the second one. I give a little piece of information to my audience. So my audience is engaged even for a very long time. And then the third one. And after explanation of the third item, I would go to the next one. So always provide the information little by little. Don't put everything over there so everybody can read it. So there is no point of you being the presenter. So if you just send the PowerPoint to your audience, it would be enough. So why are you here? So don't, uh, <laughs> don't just uh, make this mistake. That was another tip that I wanted to share with you. And um, as I told you, you can use different slides. Uh, just uh, your creativity is the key and uh, try to provide information little by little. And um, that's it. I think I've uh, just told you a lot of things that you can use in your presentation. I hope it helps. And in your presentations, if you just uh, do great present, if you just present something perfectly, also you can just share my video with your friends, with other people. So it will just motivate me to record more videos. And when I also receive your comments, when you write your comments uh, below, it just motivates me so I can record more videos. So don't forget to write your comments below and like this video and share it with your friends. It might help your friends and uh, just sharing is caring. Thanks for watching this video and uh, I hope to see you again on my YouTube channel. See you. Bye bye.